What's up, survivalist gamers? It's Vinjay here, and today, uh, what's up, survivalist gamers? It's Vinjay here, and welcome to the part. Uh, fuck me. What's up, survivalist gamers? It's Vinjay here, and welcome to part two of eight of the Minecraft combat animation tutorial. Uh, in this episode, I will be showing you how to make proper stances with weapons, specifically the sword or any other melee weapons. Um, I would go over uh, the bow and arrow as well, but that's just one pose that I know of. Uh, anyways, so we're going to be working with the stationary character, just the default import rig. We won't be working off of the fighting uh, stance rig, even though we could. Uh, if you want to see the fighting stance, you could uh, hit this annotation right up here, if I remember to put it. Otherwise, check the description. Or visit the playlist. So first of all, what we want to do is actually get the weapon inside the character's hand. My character is right-handed, so we're just going to be using one weapon this time. Uh, it will be on his right hand. I'm wondering if I should go over double weapons as well. I, I could, and it's just an easy modification. So anyways, um, with this rig, I can easily put in a weapon into his hand. That's not right. Alright, there we go. I got a sword in his hand now, so we'll be working off this. Um, <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, again, I recommend you go on Google, search up a, uh, sword stance, sword wielding stance, but again, there are many, uh, different ways you can hold a sword, so I will just be showing you the most logical ways. I don't need two swords here, you know. Alright. So, first detail you want to look out for is exactly what I had there. If he has a sword host, uh, like sheathed, you should, and he's holding it in his hand as well, that means he has two swords, which is unnecessary. You should delete the sword on his sheath. Um, right. So, in sword fighting, you don't face someone head on. You usually try to stand uh, parallel to them so that you, know, you have less chances of being hit. So, first, what we want to do is rotate the body. Uh, I'm selecting the waist joint here so that he can rotate. Not too much. I say 90 degrees. Is that too much? Maybe that's a bit too much. I'm gonna go back a bit. Maybe uh, 70 degrees. All right, somewhere around there. 70 degrees. After that, we, since we already have the uh, waist selected, we're also going to curve it a bit, just like we did with the fighting stance. So curve it at each three of the joints on my rig, or Anish Ridges wig. Well, I can't even say that properly. Anish, Anish Ridges wig. There you go. Right. So anyway, uh, curving the body so that he looks a bitch, a bitch, a bit hunched over. This is the lower his body level, make him more uh, steady. Then of course we have to rotate the head to make him looking at his target. In our case, the target will be standing where my mouse is, somewhere around there. Let's select his head and rotate it exactly 70 degrees. Ignore, ignoring the beard since your rig probably doesn't have a beard. Uh, now we gotta get the sword in the correct position. So we'll select the hand holding the sword. We'll move it front and away from the body. And uh, make sure the sword is pointing towards the enemy. So don't stick it out too much, because once you stick it out too much, it's become, it becomes easy to deflect, or uh, to parry away. So we'll keep it not that close, and not too far away from the body. Somewhere like that. And I'm also going to select the pole, and rotate it so that he actually faces, or the sword actually faces outside. How, why is the... There you go. Now right now his shoulder looks like it's a bit, uh, you know, doesn't look, doesn't look natural, it looks kind of up. How did I, yeah, I mean you can probably see that. See how his body shape is kind of just not flat, and that's because this is the best we can do with a Minecraft rig since they were made of blocks here. Uh, if this were smooth, it would have to be round. Uh, which might not match um, what you're trying to go for if you're animating Minecraft. So wait, that's what you do for the first hand. The reason you stick your sword out is so that you can threaten your enemy 
as well as defend yourself uh, against any incoming attacks. In this case, I don't want to block the line of sight of my character, but right now, it seems that the sword is actually not protecting him that much, so I'm going to have to move the pull a little bit to rotate uh, his arm. That covers just a bit more. Make sure you're not covering his line of sight. There you go. And the other arm doesn't just dangle. Uh, since I have no other weapon in this hand, I can just leave it. I, I usually like to curve it and move it forward a bit. Also rotate it this way. I generally just leave like to leave it somewhere somewhere like that. Since this hand really doesn't have any bullet play. Uh, down here, the legs. You don't want to cross your legs. Uh, when you're holding a weapon, or in any case, you really want to have a steady stance, uh, no matter what you're in, even if you're not holding a weapon. So this is not very steady. What you want to do is keep your legs spread out wide. One and two. And you also want your legs to be pointing in different directions so that you don't get knocked over. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I just noticed that my legs are actually too straight here. We're going to bend these a bit. This time we're going to evenly spread out the weight, unlike uh, the fighting stance. So I generally like to keep the right leg in front and the left leg in the back. We're going to rotate the back leg so that it faces outwards where his chest is facing. He looks like a crab right now. We're going to move this leg back in. Stick it out. Yes, I do notice he's floating. I'll fix that in a bit. There you go. So one leg faces out, the other leg faces in. And we will have to fix his legs. He's floating. I usually don't mind it when a bit of his leg sticks to the ground since no one can see it. So there's the first fighting position, or the uh, first sword stance.